Hi guys, what is up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my January 2021 Ipsy unbagging. I did Ipsy unbaggings pretty much every single month throughout 2020. So I hope to continue that this year. I will link my Ipsy playlist up above in case you want to check out more Ipsy videos. I've been getting Ipsy for quite some time now and I always love unbagging it on camera with you guys and trying out all of the products. So that's what we're going to be doing today in this video. But first, I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to my channel for more ipsy fashion beauty lifestyle related videos um and now let's get into my january 2021 ipsy bag so as always my ipsy is in this green or not green this is definitely not green <laughs> this uh pink package that it always comes in i get so excited when i see this in my mailbox because I know, I'm going to be testing out some new beauty goodies. So this is what the bag looks like this month. Honestly, when I saw this on the Ipsy app, I was not thrilled about it. And I still am not really thrilled about it. I feel like they could have done so much better for the start of 2021. Like, this is just not the cutest bag. I do like the feeling of it, though. It is like waterproof almost so this will be a great bag to like take to the beach which is honestly what I'll probably use it for I love using my ipsy bags to travel with um and just keep stuff in around my room too so I have this card here and inside are all of the products that I got in my January ipsy bag so the first thing that I noticed that wasn't actually in the bag are these face masks so these are from the Soe Hongbong Hangbang Sheet Mask Duo. I will pop the brand name and the name of the product up on the screen here too for all of the products in case you want to visualize the brand and the product name instead of my pronunciation because sometimes it can be pretty off. But the little card says this duo is here to help get your skin plump and hydrated ASAP. The collagen mask is specially formulated with 10 traditional herb extracts and adenosine known to make skin soft and supple and the hyaluronic acid mask has major hydrating powers. Um, so I'm not going to be trying these out today just because I already have my base makeup on, as you probably can tell. Today is actually my first day of classes for the spring semester. They're all virtual, of course, so I'm going to be sitting on Zoom basically all day long after this, but I just didn't have time this morning to do like a skincare portion of this video, but I will definitely be testing these out. I like to mask at least once a week, so I will add these to my mask lineup and let you guys know my thoughts on them, maybe in a future like favorite video video or something or next month's ipsy video or over on my instagram stories if you're not following my instagram i will have that linked down below in the description box and i'll also put a link for ipsy in the description box too in case you guys want to sign up as well um now let's get into things that we can actually use from the box so the next thing that i see is actually let's go with the eye product because i like to do my eyes before i finish up the face so this one i actually chose this month as my customization for ipsy so this is the violet voss single eyeshadow in bear it all oh by the way those masks retail for five dollars each they're both full size obviously this is a deluxe sample size but it says the msrp of the full size palette is 18 dollars which I thought the Violet Voss was a little bit more expensive than that, so I don't know if like their pricing is off, but regardless, I'm really excited to try this shadow out. I've never tried any Violet Voss eyeshadows before, but I know a lot of people really, really enjoy them, and this shimmer looks absolutely gorgeous, plus the packaging is so cute and sleek, and I like the coloring of it. I'm trying not to chip my nails because I just painted them yesterday, but this is the color of the shadow. I absolutely love wearing shimmers like this on my eyes like a one shadow look so I think that's what I'm going to be doing today because I don't have too much time to do a full-on eye look plus I just think that this would look so pretty by itself on the eyes so let's get to it wow that is very deceiving it looks like this should be a mirror up here and I tried looking in it to do my eyes but it's definitely not a mirror and it doesn't have like a, a peel off thing either so I don't know why they chose that color for the inside very deceiving but I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this one is actually from Ipsy it's like a Betty Boop one whenever they did a collab so I don't have any like primer on my eyes I just have a concealer down which is what I usually do on most days so that will be kind of our controlled variable to see if I like this shadow
Okay, it's actually, it's pretty, but I was expecting it to be a lot more shimmery and powerful, judging by the pan. I just feel like this could definitely pack a little bit more of a punch. This is what it looks like swatched here. So it is pretty. I was just expecting it to be a little bit more glittery based on the way that it looks in the packaging, but I think it is nice for kind of this one shadow like everyday wash of color. So that is what it looks like on the eyes. I am just going to dip in with my finger maybe. Gosh, I should take the brush out of my hand and maybe tap some on my lid just to make it a little bit more powerful. Sometimes with a brush, especially a fluffy brush, it kind of blends these fine shimmers out too much. But I still don't think that that is like super powerful. Definitely pretty. I'm glad I did a one shadow look with this because I think it looks nice as like a wash of color with just a hint of glitter in it. But I feel like if I was going to incorporate this into an eye look with like some matte shadows and stuff, I would definitely want it to be a little bit more on the like shimmery, glittery side. Alright, so I went ahead and finished up the other eye so we can try out the next product in the box, which is a, or not in the box, in the bag, which is a mascara. So this is from the brand Pure, and this is their mini fully charged mascara. This is a deluxe sample size, but the full size product is $22. I kind of wish I would stop getting mascaras in my Ipsy just for like a hot sec. I feel like I get mascaras every single month in my Ipsy bag. Sorry, I'm opening the package on this. Um, but I feel like I get Ipsy or mascaras every single month in my Ipsy bag, which don't get me wrong, I love mascaras, but I have so many that are opened right now because I always try out the mascaras and all the products in my Ipsy unbaggings. So they've been like drying up super fast and I've been having to wear mascara every single day to use them up before they go bad. So let's see how this one compares though. I am not the biggest fan of this wand. It looks a little bit stiff. I prefer wands that are a little bit like fluffier, but I haven't heard anything about this mascara from anyone else on YouTube or on Instagram for that matter. So we're going to see how we like it. Okay, so it's definitely a very stiff wand. I can already tell you that this is definitely not going to be my favorite mascara, even if I continue using it until it's like that perfect period between being super wet and dried out. It's just not really doing anything for my lashes. I feel like they just look very sad. Um, it's not making them super voluminous. It's not adding like length or anything. So this is definitely not my fave. Plus it's getting on my lid a little bit, which I don't really like. Let's see, maybe this will be a good bottom lash mascara because the bristles are so fine. I feel like this is equivalent to like how my lashes looked when I started doing makeup in like seventh grade before I discovered super amazing mascaras. So I definitely, do not like this. I will probably be passing it on to like my mom or my sister to see if they like it because I just have way too many open in my makeup collection right now to even get around to using this up, especially considering the fact that I don't really enjoy it in the first place. So this is definitely a disappointment. I thought it was going to be a really great mascara because everything that I've tried out from Pure in the past has been really nice. I just, I think this is a miss. All right, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of bronzer as well as finished up that mascara. I really don't like how my lashes look, but we have two more products in the bag, both of them face products, but neither of them are bronzer, so that's why I have that finished already. So the next thing is this brush. This is from the brand SL Miss Glam. I have a bunch of brushes from them already from Ipsy, and I do really enjoy them. They're super soft, and I haven't really had any issues with them at all. This is a full-size brush, and it is valued at $19.50. It is their P30 Angled Blusher Brush in the shade Lilac. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some blush to try this out with. 
I really wanted to use a liquid or a cream blush today, but I don't really feel like this brush is going to be the best to apply that because it is a little bit fluffier and it's not super dense. So we're going to go ahead in with my Buxom blush in Seychelles. This is their like primer infused blush. I really enjoy this. It's probably my favorite of like the more powder blushes. I'm not the biggest fan of like angled brushes in general. I just feel like I can never really get the hang of using them. I would prefer just like a rounded brush, but this looks pretty. It's definitely applying the blush really nicely. It's not like patchy or anything, but I didn't really expect anything less because I've already used so many brushes from this brand that I really enjoy. I do like the size of this brush though for applying blush. I feel like it works really well with my cheek size, I guess. All right, then the last thing in my bag this month is this highlight. This is from the brand Catrice, and it's their Luminous Highlighter in Lumi. I've tried a few things from Catrice in the past, I think like a foundation and a concealer, and I've really enjoyed both of them, and usually the price point is pretty good on these products. So this is a deluxe sample size, but the value of the full size version is $12. So this is what the highlight looks like here. I will swatch it real quick for you. Ignore the shadow from the um, eyeshadow that we tried out, but that is the highlight right there. It's definitely really pretty. It blends nice with my skin tone too, so I'm excited to try this out on my face. I'm just going to take this kind of fluffier highlight brush and just apply a little bit to my cheekbones here. Oh yeah, that color is really pretty. I like that it's kind of a little bit golden, but it's not too deep that it looks too starkly contrasted to my skin tone. So this is really pretty. Alright guys, so that was everything in my January 2021 Ipsy bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would say out of all of the products, my favorite would probably have to be the brush. I really thought I was going to like the shadow more than I did. I thought it was going to be much more impactful and glittery and pigmented, but it's kind of just ended up being a wash of like goldish brown on my lids, which I don't really hate. I like that for an everyday look. It just wasn't really what I was expecting. I definitely did not like the mascara as much as I thought I would. I will probably be passing that along. I think the highlighter is pretty, but it's definitely not my favorite out of the highlighters that I have in my makeup collection. And then of course with the masks, I didn't try them out yet, but I will definitely get around to that and letting you guys know how I liked them. But thank you guys so much again for sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to watch some more Ipsy videos, you can click that little eye up above and go to my Ipsy playlist for more. I feel like I've done so many Ipsy videos on my channel. That's like the one constant that I have every single month. I will have all of the products linked down below in the description box as well as a link to sign up for Ipsy if you would like to do so, but I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!